Hello there lovely people, good morning from Dhaka Bangladesh. Welcome back to the channel once again and back to this setup of my front view uh, where I'm not here. So today I actually have a couple of videos for you. Uh, this morning I decided to do another list. Uh, I told you like for winter I'm gonna be doing so many lists, you know, so many activities, you know. Just just kidding, just the quotation from Step Brothers the movie. Uh, this fragrance list is not a top 15 list. Uh, this is going to be a list of sweet fragrances from my collection and I'm not gonna show you the top 15 or like best of all time nothing like it but I'm trying to rotate you know like fragrances which are good but you know you can't always show the same fragrance kind of boring so I'm keeping off let's say for example Angel Share one of the best sweet fragrance in the game uh, Spice Bomb Extreme you know a lot of fragrances are not gonna be here doesn't mean they're not good they're excellent okay but uh, I kind of put them in uh, according to order so here we go I will give you very brief description because I've reviewed them all check them out okay and Remember to try them first, uh, do not blind buy. If you really blind buy, take responsibility, okay? Own up to your decisions, right? So I don't have any honorable mentions. I'm gonna show you 15, and this mix is kind of like some oldies, uh, some new ones, some uh, some some things in between as well. Uh, that's how we're gonna roll, okay? First fragrance I'm gonna show you, I'll start with that. Absolute classic. This fragrance people definitely love over the years. Uh, at this current moment, not everybody loves it. This is love it or hate it. But I think in the cold weather, winters, dead winters, this works like a charm. This fragrance is going to be Yop Om. Okay, the original. I have also some other versions of it. But today I'm showing you this one. Because the syrup is thick, sweet, kind of like a cinnamon. You know, it's very, very thick uh, sweetness. Okay. And I like that about this fragrance. When the fog comes, you know, like the morning, I go for morning walk once in a while. This definitely lasts very long time. Even the newer formulation, no problem, but cold weathers, okay? Number 15, we're gonna go with Yop Om. Number 14, we're gonna go with another favorite fragrance I bought this year. Uh, this is gonna be House of Cristiano Ronaldo. This is called Re Legacy Private Edition. Features this beautiful, beautiful, magnetic cap which is very good uh, and the bottle is very beautiful like sapphire blue or something color i don't know what that is uh, one issue with the bottle the side a like, little bit like a cheaply built this one moves around but that's not an issue the fragrance is the most important thing this fragrance is really lovely uh, this bit rare nowadays uh, i don't know for what reason you don't find it everywhere absolutely but if you actually smell this got this nice sort of a honey uh honeyed sort of like a maple sap kind of a concept it's very sweet it got this little bit of the peppery quality it's very strong very long lasting i think works like a charming colder months okay so try this out very long lasting christian Ronaldo private edition okay legacy that's number 14 okay you're gonna go number 13 number 13 is gonna be a fragrance it's uh i kind of mix it up not obviously just all sweet there are other elements in this fragrance as well this fragrance for example cartier declaration don soir intense i'll write down the names uh this is a rare flanker i heard this is discontinued at this point this is more intensified version of the original the original one was rose sandalwood and pink pepper this one i think there's this sweetness of rose and a lot of pepper in there it's like the real spice bomb with beast more longevity uh this one works like a charm in cold weathers but the sweetness of rose it's like a dark gothic rose which i love I was going to feature Moschino Boy Toy, but that has been shown by everybody. So I'm giving that a break. That is excellent as well. That one or this one, either way you go. Excellent rose fragrance, cooler months, and sweet. Okay, that's number 13. Declaration Dun Soir. Intense. Okay, uh, number 12. One of my favorites. Okay, Hugo Boss, The Scent. Abs not absolute private. Every time I have to get this name wrong because it's a very long name. I'm sorry about that. Uh, imagine, Hugo Boss. The scent, private accord, how many words in that name? <laughs> Six. Uh, just yesterday, I talked about the absolute version. That's why I guess I kind of am um, mixing it up. But this is absolutely the best from this line for me. It got this kind of like a sweet, uh, chocolatey, uh, maninka fruit, leather, absolute uh, beauty for cold weather. I'm showing you this and not uh, Valentin Humo Intense or my favorite Durham Intense because they all belong in the same line. I have one more like this, but very sophisticated, high class. You can say this is a niche version of the scent. Amazing uh, winter fragrance with good longevity. That one is sweet too. And number 11, with Gucci. Gucci Guilty Oud. Uh, understand one thing, this name is Oud, right? But this is a lot more fruity than Oud. This fragrance is very similar to my nose, to uh, Mason Francis Kirkshans. Uh, oud satin mode okay this is not a clone of that but this one has the 
syrupy, fruity, berry-like sweetness, which you find also in Gucci Guilty Femme. Man, this fragrance has oud in it, but more polished, rounded, and it's unisex style. It's so sweet. That's what makes it, that's what makes it so lovely. And it works like in cold weathers, definitely. Nighttime, very mysterious fragrance. Not everybody wears it. So this is one of the best designer fragrances in my humble opinion. Very underrated. Okay. Gucci Guilty, oud. So we have 10 left, okay? I think that from the 10, we have some of the bangers and these are all by ranking. So <laughs> just for fun. So number 10, many of your favorite, okay? This fragrance, if I show it, I notice like 80 to 90% people, they say, yeah, 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 this is a great fragrance. We love it. Apparently it is continued. Sadly, I, this is my last bottle. I will hunt down one more because this is the best performer absolutely from the Thierry Mugle line. This is pure Tonka. I think no need to describe it so much more because people already know. This is something people say when the designer version of Fave Delicious by uh, Dior. For me, yeah, I don't see that much similarity. I did test both of them. Fave Delicious is a lot more rounded. This is a lot more spicy, which I love about it. It's a spicy, long lasting, uh, cold weather fragrance. Works like a charm. Once I keep saying that uh, for, I'm not going to say that anymore. I, I hope. <laughs> uh, this one, Pure Tonka works so nicely in the Christmas time, okay? That time of the year, it's very cold. Reindeer, Santa Claus, you know, gifts or uh, something like, you know, like all this festive season going on shopping. So, you know, snowing. This is a fragrance you wear out in the snow. Sweet and spicy. Number nine, my favorite. This is Givenchy Spy. This house, I swear, deserves as much credit as any other best designer house. If you ever make a top 10 designer, this house should be there. The reason being Givenchy makes such great fragrances. They have such awesome uh, collection, but people somehow look down upon on them like, hey, Givenchy, you know, the new gentleman line, yes, they're getting the respect, but there are many others, Plain Tens, this one, very resistible. Uh, many of the other ones I own, and I feel Givenchy is a great house. You know, you definitely got to try many of their fragrances. This one has a sugary note, a burnt sugar note. Okay, it got the boozy vanilla as well. And uh, some people say new version is not as good as the original, the OG. Of course, you're not going to buy something that's 10, 12 years old or something. It may go bad. This new one also lasts a long time. No issue. Get it before it gets discontinued or something like it. This is one of my gems in the collection. Okay, Givenchy's pie. That is definitely a nice sweet fragrance for winter time and affordable too all right so the next one we're gonna go with a freshie i mixed it up quite nicely i'm very proud of my work <laughs> uh, the next one is gonna be a fragrance i love okay because it got the beast more longevity all year round you can wear this for summer as well but colder months if you want to wear a freshie which has a lot of sweetness and beast mode longevity this is one of the best bang for your buck one of the best flankers ever in the market and getting the love definitely is deserving David of Cool Water Intense. This is my second bottle. This fragrance has sweetness. I really find this fragrance to be like kind of a mix of everything. It got everything. It got the freshness, blue, a kind of like greenery, as well as tonka sweetness, kind of like a tropical vibe as well. This perfume, man, it projects last forever. One of the best fragrance in this uh, house. David of Cool Water Intense. And that's an EDP concentration, by the way. It's no wonder. Uh, next one, we have number seven. Number seven, we have one of my favorite fragrances this year. Definitely, I bought very, very in love with it. I wish I could find a backup bottle, but uh, it's getting a bit harder to find. Another budget-friendly fragrance, Mercedes-Benz Select Night. Uh, not to say when I say budget, it doesn't mean this fragrance is like cheap as hell. No, this fragrance, it's your typical designer perfume price. And I'm telling you, some people will be like, I don't want to pay for 45, 55 bucks for Mercedes-Benz. You should. You should show this fragrance respect. The reason being, this fragrance can replace your Tom Ford Noir Extreme with uh, at least half the price, okay? Or one third of the price, whatever is your case. This is on its own also a beautiful fragrance. It got this sweet, sexy, kind of like a lighter take on uh, Tom Ford Noir Extreme. I could show you the Femme version, Tom Ford Noir Femme, but today I'm showing you this one because I love it a lot. It got this cardamom, got this sweetness, cool fee, but not as much cool fee as the Noir Extreme, but absolutely stunning perfume okay mercedes benz and uh, this is the next level fragrance okay select night number six we hit then top five number six is the fragrance i love this fragrance is my second bottle of this fragrance i still have 
far away you can see that back there you cannot recognize it you can see the cap of that you know where i'm pointing at there right there that is my 180 or 200 ml of kalemat black but i'm not showing you that one because that's almost like reached last 20 ml i'm showing you my newer bottle this one is one of the most finest chocolatey uh, there is oud in this but imagine a oud doesn't stink which tastes like gourmand chocolate this has been with me since my journey started five six years back i got the first big bottle a absolute phenomenal fragrance you know like if you let it sit in your collection for two years three years it will never go bad it will just get darker and darker this juice is already getting dark i caught it because it was a bit like lighter now it's getting darker okay so a juice darker doesn't mean always it gets stronger but over the time this fragrance gets beast more and it does last a long time beautiful sweet gourmand chocolatey uh, version of middle eastern fragrance which is very wearable and everybody loves it this fragrance has no complaints okay try it out kalimat black by arabian oud now we have reached top five remember this is my list and remember this is not top 15 you know like uh, best of all time these are just some suggestions from me you know uh, do not be mad if you don't see your favorite fragrance okay but you can only show 15 15 list number five this fragrance is going to be featured in my top best uh, purchase this year which i hope to do in december if everything's okay this is invictus victory or v um, ashton actually got me hooked into this one i saw this bottle in his hand and he hates it he hates this big bottle but i feel there's something like vampire like should have been called vampire that would be so much cooler uh, vampire diaries or true blood if you are familiar with the tv series this hands down is one of the best purchase this year because the sweetness the everything is just so well blended the vanilla everything it smells like a little bit like everything out there in the market as are wanted by night you know pure excess pure excess night eros eros flame you know it got a little bit of element of everything in this and this is the best in every way because it pushes a lot okay definitely projects and gets noticed by people you can buy 200 ml just one fragrance will do everything for you yeah this is kind of like a swiss army gear knife that's what I feel about it. And the sweetness is just lovely. Okay. Number five is Invictus Victory. Number four is my backup bottle of a fragrance I loved. I wanted to buy a backup bottle. I don't know. Sometimes, you know, these are like mid-range fra uh, fragrances. And what happens to mid-range? Sometimes you feel like, ah, uh, I'll get it in a, in a bit, you know. And then you follow. And then you forget. Finally, I pushed myself and I got a bottle because I got a good deal. This is one of the best in the game if you talk about sweet fragrance i'm so happy and i think mark is one of the guys uh rob zero eight who said this is his favorite because he loves sweet fragrances this has got that official tiramisu note which i love everybody loves got this kind of like coffee vibe beautiful bottle i have shown you uh from time to time the other flankers like the signature or you know the other ones like the other flankers and stuff those are all good but this actually is the og Longevity is crazy on this one. Even the new batches, I have no issue. The Salvatore Ferragamo Fumo is a must-have if you're a collector. Okay, I'm saying this is a must-have because such a good fragrance, you know. So good. Salvatore, salute to you. Number three, number two, number one. All three are special. <laughs> this number three is going to make many of you laugh. I'm, I'm laughing myself because I feel um, perhaps this is one of the most playful fragrances this year I bought. It's nothing serious. You know, the bottle is tacky. Everybody knows that, but I love this bottle. Without much drama, this is, I, you, you're going to see this. You were going to see this at some point and it would pop up, right? This is the robot uh, robot of uh, Pakuraban. This is called Phantom. I always forget the name. Pakuraban PR, very nicely done. See through the juice. So some people love it, some people hate it. You know, I'll tell you one thing. This fragrance is beautiful. Uh, this fragrance stands out in the collection. Look at that dude, you know. Um, I mean, to each his own, but I love this fragrance. The opening is just lovely. It has some uh, citrus, it has some sweetness, it has some herbal quality. Uh, for me, longevity, I'm still testing, but I would say something like, uh, on average, longevity projection, you get like 8 out of 10, okay? Not as bismo as this or this or some of the previous ones, but it works. If you like sweet fragrances, get this, you'll get attention, okay? Number three, Pakuraban Phantom. Number two, Magic Time. Uh, this fragrance, uh, recent times, I... Uh, I think this morning I'm wearing this. Yeah, this is my scent of the morning. Yeah, hell, hell yes. Okay. Strong quality, absolutely, from uh, Emporio Armani. Uh, basically, Armani. This fragrance, it, it, it has some, uh, not issue, 
it has some talk that some people say uh, for them they actually feel that intensely is the best and longest lasting understand one thing not everybody's criteria is just performance all the time is the smell of the blend the whole line is solid the original freeze intensely this one leather what else is in there uh yeah those are the ones i gave about five in there if i could find a leather at a good price i'll buy it too these fragrances are expensive that's one thing i really feel people do not like to pay because these are designer borderline niche pricing what's good about this is they took the dna of the original which is sweet okay it got this kind of like a chestnutty sort of sweetness and then you know like by the fireplace you can see it right there minus the smoke okay it's as sweet as it gets tonka heavy but they added some boozy and some uh, some some notes which makes it a little bit more sophisticated compared to the intensely that one is loud this is uh let's say the best of the line this is what i feel with leather this intensely leather all good but this one until now is i think my winter favorite okay try it out stronger with you absolutely and absolutely the last one is gonna be my uh, uh, dream fragrance come true kind of uh, one of them anyway is from this house of beautiful house of zergeoff which is called naxos those who are in the game already know like this fragrance basically is uh, very similar to pure heaven in many ways but i find them unique enough like different enough to wear both at different times but i wear pure heaven which is right there at the far end uh, in my lineup uh, casually this one if let's say wedding you know i'm gonna do a wedding scent list this is gonna be there one of the best tobacco honey uh, sweet fragrances out there if you're a collector serious collector this is one of the fragrance even if you do not get the fragrance understand it buy it right now understand it later this is one of the best masterpiece of all time in my collection out of many hundreds or thousands i tried this is one of the best okay so the sweetness of honey and uh, tobacco it, it's very long lasting too trust me zergeoff hardly can do anything wrong okay so that's my number one today zergeoff naxos so which are your favorite among these or which are your favorite sweet fragrances do let the others know and it will help others and do you like to wear sweet fragrances i, I hope you do because they are the best in the colder months have a nice day thanks for watching time to move on to the second video where i'm going to do one individual review and we upload this side by side take care Bye bye